Hi everyone, welcome to this video on getting started with the numeric text box component of Sync Fusion in a Blazor server application. In this video, I will explain how to create a Blazor application and add the Sync Fusion Blazor package. Then I will show you how to add the Sync Fusion Blazor numeric text box component to the Blazor server application. After creating the numeric text box, I will add prominent features like range validation, value formatting, and setting decimal precision to it. To explore the features available in numeric text box, visit our website link provided in the above YouTube card. You can create a Blazor application using either Visual Studio 2019 or Visual Studio Code. In this video, I will create a server-side Blazor application using Visual Studio 2019. I have installed the .NET Core SDK 3.1.2. To follow along with this video, one should have a basic understanding of c -Sharp, HTML and CSS. You can also watch a detailed video on Blazor and Syncfusion controls titled Create a Blazor Server App and Add Syncfusion Blazor Components, which I have shared in the YouTube card. Now, let me create a Blazor project first. I select the Blazor App template, provide the project name My Blazor Server App and click Create. Here, the Blazor Server App was selected by default and I proceed by clicking the Create button. Now, Visual Studio has generated a Blazor Server application. To use Syncfusion Blazor components, I need to install the Syncfusion Blazor NuGet package in my application. To do that, I open the NuGet package manager by right-clicking the project file and selecting Manage NuGet packages. Under the Browse tab, I search for the Syncfusion Blazor package. I select it and click the Install button. The installation is completed now. When you check the dependencies folder and the packages folder and you will find the Syncfusion Blazor package added to this application. Next, the Syncfusion Blazor service must be registered in the services container. For that, I open the startup.cs file and use the Syncfusion Blazor namespace. Within the configure services method, I make a call to the add Syncfusion Blazor method. This makes Syncfusion Blazor services available within the application. Next, I must register a valid Syncfusion license key. To do so, in the configure method, I call the Syncfusion licensing, Syncfusion license provider static method, register license. You also need to pass your Syncfusion license key as a string parameter in the register license method. I have done this off stream. Within the pages folder, open the host.cs HTML file. Within the head tag, add the required CSS file to render the Syncfusion Blazor components. In this example, I refer the CSS file from the installed Syncfusion Blazor package. Now, let me add the Syncfusion Blazor numeric text box to the index component. To do so, I use the Syncfusion Blazor inputs namespace. Adding this namespace here allows me to use the numeric text box component markup. I can also import this namespace in the imports.razor page to make it available to all the Razor components within this application. I remove the existing code and type a SF numeric text box tag and set the width to 150px. I plan to bind a integer to this numeric text box. So I set the T value as int so that the numeric text box can understand the type of its value. After that, I set the value property to 10. Let me save the file and run the application. You can see the numeric text box with the value 10 displayed in it. Next, I will show you how to set the range validation in the numeric text box so that the value specified is within the min and max range. To do so, in the SF numeric text box tag, I add the max property and set the value to 100 to define the maximum value and I use the min property and set the value to 1 to define the minimum value. I then set the step property to 5 so that when I click the up and down buttons, the values will increment by 5. Let me save the file and run the application. You can see the numeric text box with the value 10 displayed in it. When I click the upward button, it increments by 5 and the value is 15. When I click the downward button, the value again changes to 10 decrementing by 5. Now I type the number 102 and the value changes to 100 since we have set the max range value to 100. 
Similarly, when I set the value to 0, it automatically changes to its min value that is 1. Now, let me show you how to format this value. In the SF numeric text box tag, I add the format property and set the value to C2, which is the currency pattern with two decimal places. I save the file and run the application. You can see the value 10 with the default currency symbol dollar with two decimal places when the component is in focus out state. Now, when I type a value with decimal places, it allows me to type more than two decimal places. Next, I will show you how to restrict the number of decimal places when typing. In the SF numeric text box tag, I add the property decimals and set the value to. And then I add the property validate decimal on type and set the value to true. I save the file and run the application. In the numeric text box, I type the value 74.86 but after that I cannot type any numbers. Since the value is set to 2 in the decimals property and the validate decimal on type property is set to true, the numeric text box did not allow me to type more than 2 decimals. Now let me show you how to custom format this value. Using custom numeric format, I can format by combining the custom specifiers. Numeric text box supports two custom specifiers, hash and zero. First, let me use hash to format the value. In the format property, I remove the value c2 and add a value with hash as string. Here, I have added a value with three numbers in the integral part and two in the fractional part. Let me save and run the application. As you can see, the value 10 is displayed. When I add a fractional part to the value 10, it shows the fractional part. When hash is used, it displays the decimal values only when needed. To show the decimal values always, use 0 in the format string. For that, in the format property, remove the hash value and add a value with 0. I have added 3 numbers in the integral part and 2 in fractional. Let me save and run the application. Now you can see the value 10 is displayed along with the 0 preceded in its integral part and two fractional numbers even when there are no specific decimal values mentioned. Remember, I added 10 in the value property. Thus, Syncfusion numeric text box supports both standard and custom numeric formats for flexible value formatting. If you need more information about Syncfusion Blazor numeric text box component, refer to our online documentation. A link is provided in the description of this video. Finally, let me summarize the main points. I have explained the steps to create a Blazor application and add the Syncfusion Blazor package. Then I showed you how to add the Syncfusion Blazor numeric text box component to the Blazor server application. Finally, I explained how to add prominent features like range validation, formatting the value and setting precision to the numbers. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also see about getting a free license key to use our Blazor products if you are eligible for our community license. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.